What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do another leak code challenge. This is called Fibonacci number. Fibonacci number is just described as what it says here. You know, you have the sum of the two numbers of the preceding ones. You start at 0, 1. F of n, f of 0 is 0, f of 1 is 1, f of n is equal to f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2. Yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> All you have to do is just do this. This could be two, two lines. If n is less than or equal to 1, return n, because that would be 0 and 1, okay. Else return fib n minus 1 plus fib n minus 2. And yeah, that's it. Wait a minute. Yep, that was it. That that's basically it. Click the submit button, and it should get accepted. Yes, but it is very very slow. So there is another. The best optimal solution is actually use something called memoization. Memoize. So here they have do, 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 do. top down approach. Let's see which is a better one. I don't want to do this way. Matrix. You can use matrix. Wow. That is way too complicated. Uh, yeah, that's way too complicated. I don't think that's a good idea, actually. Log of n, whoa. Wow, okay. I think it's better to go over memoization because that's much faster. It's actually better. Oh, this is much better, actually. This is a better way. Bottom up approach, because then you don't have to recursively call it. So it's actually much better if you just do this and then memoize, create your array and then pre-compute it based on the values like this. So using recursion, so I'll use it this way. Essentially memoizing is just pre-computation -com pre so you don't have to repeat compute computations. So that's what it is. Uh, let's see, so I don't want to create it. I don't want that. Return n memoize memoize n. Let's do this part. Memoize. Okay, so I'm going to create a vector. Int is going to have data is going to have n. Uh, do, 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 do. n plus one actually n plus one. And then I'll do data at one is equal to one. Go from two reason why we're going from 2 is because we want to memoize from 0, 1, 2, and then pre add the previous values together. So the previous two values, add them up and store that as our memoized data. So i is going to equal to data i minus 1 plus data at i minus 2. Then after that we just return data at n. Okay, I think this is much better. We're in the code. Let's see what this does. Hopefully no errors. Okay, so this does print it out correctly. Submit. And it got accepted. So yeah, that's all I, all you, that's how you do Fibonacci number. Rate, comment, subscribe. Check you guys later.